One, two, three, four. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of Earth, welcome, welcome, welcome to Randon's World with me, Razor Randon. So glad you could make it. We're here. We're just, uh, whoop, look at that weird view. Uh, we're just here doing some work on the gold farm, and uh, hopefully we can get it done today. That's the goal. Uh, not done done, but operational done. All right. Um, so let me get a little bit higher, and I'll show you what we've done so far. Um, still have to clear out that uh, netherrack on the floor there so that we maximize spawns or minimize spawns, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, and um, we've got quite a bit done here. If you look, we've got a whole weird cylinder thing with glass and andesite and I'm just adding some blackstone trim. I think it's making it look uh, a bit better. We still have a lot of gas, which are very annoying. I can hit them. Oh. Can't really hit them, but um, I'm trying to make sure their their shots are away from the tunnel at least, because um, they keep blowing out the glass. But uh, let's fly up here, and I'll give you a quick peek what's happening. I can avoid that lava. And uh, I still have to fix this up. We'll do that today. But um, we have a little drop. We can go down. Um, here, I still have to work out exactly how I want to enter the farm and what level we're going to be on. But we've been doing some work on um, testing how we can make them fall. You can see I've added some powdered snow to... Um, reset the fall damage at that level so the top guys don't die. They tend to make it all the way into the center when they're uh, chasing the egg from the top. And uh, this glass will go all the way up to contain them. I'm still figuring out the collection system and uh, I'm also figuring out the height. If they land on this level here, they survive. One below, they die. Um, but what I might do is lower the snow a couple blocks so that everything happens at floor level. I don't really want to climb up. Um, also because I would eliminate spawns on that bottom level. But um, we've done that and I think I'm pretty happy so far. And like I said, we're going to work on the collection. And uh, we've also dug down quite a bit here. And we're finding some tasty treats along the way which is always nice. And um, we also found uh, our tunnel, our ancient debris tunnel. And uh, that's one of the reasons we have to dig down is that if not, I'd have to, I'd have to uh, spawn proof all of this. Because you can see we're getting some guys down here. So I'm not sure if I would have to go all the way out here, but um, we're going to clean it up anyways, and um, that way we can, can make sure that all the spawns are happening in the farm. It's running already quite... I'm, I'm really impressed with how it's working so far, and I haven't even spawn-proofed. Um, but uh, we're going to get to work clearing this out to bedrock, trying to avoid lava. And um, yeah, I'll bring you back in a little bit when I've got this cleared down. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Don't push me in the lava, jerk. All right, see you in a bit. Well, all right, we're back, we're here. We have made it down to bedrock. And uh, we're gonna do something to the floor, which um, I've never done before, but I think it looks really cool. And uh, I saw this uh, from a YouTuber slash streamer uh, named Dugout or Douglas Gordo on YouTube. And I'm going to link his uh, channel and stuff in uh, the comments. But um, if you ever want to learn anything about perimeters, that's who you should watch for sure. 
Anyways, um, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out um, the nether rack here. I'll just do a little section so you can see. And I'm not sure. I probably should have paid more attention to what he does. But um, essentially, we're going to dig down uh, two layers. I might even go three. I haven't decided yet. But let's do a little um, section here. And um, we're going to put in... Two might be enough. I think two is enough. So we're going to put in some uh, deep slate. Put that back there. So let's get that in our hand. Okay. And I think, yeah, just remember deep slate is directional. So I think we want this texture, not this one. Oh, that's okay. So we're going to put in some deep slate like this in all the low spots. And um, then we're going to cover it with glass. And then that will make this a completely uh, spawn proof surface. So let's see. Again, I might go two down, but I think that'll it'll be good enough because there's uh, some bedrock at this level. And then we're going to put the glass in on top, like this. And uh, it gives a really cool effect on the floor. Let's see. Except for where that guy went down there. Um... And like I said, go check him out. Um, really cool guy. And uh, if you, if, like I said, if you want to know about perimeters, that's who you should be watching. But um, yeah, so we're going to continue with this and um, see how it goes. And I'll bring you back when I've got it all finished. Okay, we'll see you then. Well, all right, we're here. We're up on the platform, and uh, there's the floor. Let's go down and take a look, and uh, we'll see how, what you think. But um, I like it. Um, and then we're going to get to work up here. So as you can see, I think I got everywhere. And we have glass and deep slate, and uh, this will now be spawn-proof. No mobs will spawn. They still can spawn in the tunnel. I'll have to do something with that. But, um, yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. We will decorate the walls at some point, And um, we're going to extend this down uh, to the ground level. Maybe even, now that I see that, maybe even into this level. Uh, I used the wrong pick on that glass. Uh, kind of like that. And if there's a, a bedrock there, then... We won't do that. It's the right pick this time. And, um, yeah. Let's uh, go up top, and we're going to now look at um, at the killing chamber and what we're going to do there. And I'm not sure. The problem with these farms is they're so overpowered, your collection system has to be able to keep up. So we're going to have to try to address that somehow. And I haven't really figured out what to do yet. But uh, that's the next challenge. So let's go up there. We'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, I would like these guys to go away. I think what I'm going to do uh, first off is um, maybe pillar up here. Get out of the way. Um, I don't have to do this. This is purely decorative, obviously. But uh, I was thinking... So I'm going to encase this in glass and um, and then um, we'll have some kind of a design here. Ouch. And I think what I'm going to do is actually lower the floor. I think this might look good. So we'll give it a go and see. And then um, the reason I'm going to lower the floor a little bit is so that I'm for sure out of the range of this bottom layer. Uh, I really like when they fall through that the powdered snow uh, 
has particles. I think that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, we'll have to see how we're going to do the hoppers and whatnot. And I think I brought uh, some chests and things to make hoppers. But um, and we'll have to extend the glass. I don't know if we'll go orange glass because everything is so orange in here. Or if maybe I go with a black glass. Uh, in which case I'll have to get some more glass. And then I might do some rings um, of this black stone. And I still might do um, three going up there. Because the one just doesn't look very substantial for the size of this thing. But it um, be nice to get this all done. And then uh, we can start uh, getting XP and gold from these guys. Uh, the next thing we're going to have to do after that's all set up is um, is get some brown shirts in here. And um, set up the bartering system. Now, one of the benefits of having this so tall and so deep is that I have a lot of room to put in a sorter, put in a bartering system with another sorter and uh, yeah we should we should have lots of space now I'm also thinking I can maybe do some cool things with this sorting system and we'll have to figure that all out but um, I'm going to um, get some glass in and I think I'm going to lower that snow a little bit and we're going to figure out which level we want to be on and um, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you right back. See you then. <laughs> well, all right, we're here and I've done something and guess what? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And there's a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it's too much of the black stuff, the black stone. Uh, I want to be able to see up. So I think I'm going to take out these cross braces. Um, this is probably the right level, although there are some items there. Uh, so some of them are dying um, But uh, I think I'm going to take out the black stone like I said and then the other thing I don't like is That they're in this size of a chamber Because I want to be able to remove these blocks and have them fall all the way down And I'm trying to think of how I could do that. I mean I can have pistons that pull it out But then where do I stand? And, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Um, so, the only problem is if I, if I make it like a 3x3, three three, then the item collection is going to be really stressed. Um, how much is going to be able to pull out. Because then I'll just have three hoppers pulling out items. So... I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe somebody has a suggestion. I guess if I did pull them out from each side, it would just be one right here in the way, because I could pull these three out this way, these three out this way, and then just one on the front and the back. Huh. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, these will be gone. And then we'll have hoppers down there. Um, to collect the items. And then I also need to put uh, a slab in here so that the babies can't get out. I'm also wondering about that center pole. If I want that there or if I want some kind of lighting so I'm not too sure what to do um, I also don't know if uh, yeah it's a little bit of a pickle okay well let's uh let's go up and see first off let's take these out I know I don't like this. We'll put glass in, at least on this side, for now, and see what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to lose some black stone, which I don't like losing any items. I'm not sure why some are dying. Maybe they're a 
couple that are getting hit or they're hitting that glass I put in up top. Um, I guess it's not a huge deal if, uh, if some of these guys are dying on the way down when I'm trying to uh, get XP. Let's see if I can come up with a solution. Um, one of the problems with um, playing this game the way I play and not planning things is that we come into these little dilemmas where I'm a little bit stuck on what the next move is and uh, I haven't designed this farm uh, ahead of time we're kind of going on the fly so okay so already I, I think I like that better because I want to be able to see them just I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm twisted or whatever it is but I kind of enjoy seeing them fall down uh, also remember that snow thing um, I kind of wish there was a little bit of light in there and I brought some uh, some blaze not blaze rods uh, whatever those things are called these things end rods there you go um, to see if I'll put them in the middle I think at the moment I'm going to close the farm off so I can do some work without them falling on my head. Is that the wrong pick? That's the wrong pick. Okay. So, closing the farm off might be... Now that guy, I don't know why he's standing there. That's a little concerning. Um... He must not want to cross. And that's why I was thinking if I put trap doors. Um, okay, how am I going to do this? Let's get in here. Um, if I go with a slab, will that let me in and keep the snow there? Okay, there we go. And then up. Um, let's use this. Okay. Now, if I go like that, so see there, he went right away. Um, let's get this in here. Temporary. Um, things might not spawn right now because, um, I'm so high up. Okay. Now, I kind of want to um, let's see what happens here. So I have the end rods. Now let's see what happens if I do this. Okay. And then I was thinking, you know how you can go like this. Um, but I want to put trap doors all the way around it. Now let me think. If a guy's there, he'll think that he can cross, I believe. Um, and, uh, okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these end rods in and uh, the trap doors and then see what it looks like and then see what these guys do and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, we'll see you then.
Well, that was one of the weirdest things that's ever happened to me in this game. I thought I was done for sure. All right, let's go up and see what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. Um, I must. I don't know how I squeaked out of there, but um, I'm trying to put these in, and um, yeah, I kind of fell down, and that. Ee, ouch. Uh, that wasn't good, but uh, I've obviously have to get rid of or flip those trap doors because there they're stuck and um hmm i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that i gotta get back on that pillar so we're gonna try to do that nope i missed there there it go oh and now i'm back in here and i'm almost dead um let's hang on let's think about this because I'm going to hit him if I have that in my hand. <laughs> okay. What a view. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm free. Kind of. Um Very weird. All right, let's eat something. And uh get back up there if we can. Um, I don't like having so much junk in my pockets. Because I kind of want to... I keep just picking it up. That's fine. Uh, I kind of want to... Um, oh, no, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so we'll get up to the top. And uh, the problem is that when I hit the powdered snow... Oops. It doesn't really let me jump up anymore. Which I didn't really think about. But um, let's get up there as far as we can. And uh, the idea I want is to put these on every on every side. Um, now, I think I might have... Uh, okay, now I'm up and I can't jump. And that means I'm going to freeze if I do that. I wish I had a bucket on me. I have some iron, but uh, that's not going to help that much. So maybe that's the problem there. You can see that trap door right there. Let's get rid of that. Okay. There we go. Okay, and I have that trap door. Okay. No problem. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, now, um, I could probably put some trap doors here. Uh, like this. Like this. And like this. Okay. I'm actually going to put them on each side. Um, that, that, and that. Good thing I have the leather boots. Okay, there's a guy there on that block. That's fine. Okay. Do I have enough? No, I'm one short. Oh. I do not want to go down there again. Which almost happened. Oops. Okay. Oops. I'm going to be one trapdoor short, I think. I, oh, I just picked one up, which is amazing. Okay, dude, you gotta, you gotta go. Okay, here we go. And oh, whoa. Okay, we'll go back up again. This is gonna be the weirdest video ever. Well, not that weird for me. Okay, so I should be able to walk here can't shift on this because uh, if I do, I'll go through. Uh, okay, that's good. Oh. Okay. Oh. Like I just said, can't shift on it. Okay. The joys of building. Right. 
Okay. What I should do is bust out this glass so that then I can stand in a spot. I know how to play this game. Don't worry. Okay, so at least that's done there. Um, and we're going to see what happens. Um, I'm going to... Now, are those open or are they closed right now? They're closed. Uh, the problem is, is that I'm going to have to clear those guys out. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I still have a block here, I believe. Let's take a peek. Can't see. I do. Okay. So we want to go here. And we're going to get close to them, and then we'll pop out the window, I think. That's what we'll do. So we'll probably go like this. Uh, that block can go. I'll need more... Um, it's hard to see. I'll need more trap doors, but I think already that looks better. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, well, let's uh, let's regroup. We'll get some more trapdoors, and uh, maybe I'll take care of these guys just uh, in the meantime, and then um, we'll be back in a sec. All right. Well, I'm back, and uh, this is what I got so far. I think I need to make some adjustments because the babies, they get out. So, um, but I like the trap door deal, and uh, the reason why is that the XP pops out, and I have a switch that I think I'm also going to switch some things because I noticed some items are landing here, and uh, I don't have hoppers under there, so I'm going to have to pop under, and hopefully I can squeeze some hoppers in each side, and I think I have a fix for the, um, the babies, but let's see, so... For now, I have this, pushes the uh, mud blocks over the hoppers, and um, then the um, they survive the fall. They can't get out, as terrifying as this is, this gap, they can't get out, um, except for the babies. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this fill up, and then um, we'll see, I'll sh you'll see some of them some of them are dying. I'm, I wonder, I might have to put a second thing of snow in there. Um, but, um, yeah, so they start to fill up. Let's look underneath at what I did. And, um, so I just have the switch there pushing the pistons. Can't really see much from here. I guess you can see a little bit better on this side. So we have just, uh, nine hoppers pointing into, actually, I think there's only... Well, there's one in the middle, although it's not going to get as many items. And um, pointing into chests, and uh, the chests are filling up quite quickly, uh, as they will because of um, the rotten flesh and the swords. I haven't really run the farm that much, but um, we are getting items. It does look like something squeaked through here, um, probably through this piston gap here, and it looks like I missed some XP. So there's a couple things that I've got to tweak, um, but um, I'm probably not going to be able to hmm, put hoppers under here. Maybe I can. Maybe I can put hoppers. Do I have any? I wonder if I can just put, put them into here. And we'll put some in here. And we'll see what happens. It's not really... Uh, it's not really a big deal to put these in. Now, I am creating a bottleneck. I could change this to go into more chests. I might have to. We'll see. But uh, for now, let's do this. Okay. And then that means I'm going to also change any blocks above uh, those hoppers into mud like this one here. Although that one's the corner. It doesn't matter. Did I put a hopper? I don't think I put a hopper there. No. Okay. But anything else like there, um, here it won't matter because that's where the piston arms are. 
on the back side, let's see. Uh, these blocks here have to be uh, mud. And I'm going to change that, I believe. Because I think that's the problem with the, uh, the babies coming through. That one didn't matter. It wasn't doing anything. It's that one. Okay. And uh, underneath, I've just done a little bit of a glass platform for now with the uh, chests. And this is where the sorting is going to have to go. This is... This is where we're going to start to put in sorting to get rid of swords, um, rotten flesh, and uh, I think that's it. But yeah, we have to get rid of those items because they're going to choke up the whole system. Now, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to run minecarts with uh, hoppers because they pull items super quick or what I'm going to do. But let's go back up top and see if any of the babies, oops, wrong floor, have come out. Um, so I only noticed because there were a couple standing up here. It doesn't look like yet. Now, the thing is with this side, I think what's happening is the babies are getting pushed. And if there's a block there, they get pushed and kind of squeezed up. Here, if they get pushed, they get pushed underneath, which is totally fine. But that's also why having the hoppers there is probably a good thing. Now, I don't know if items will get sucked up on through the piston but um yeah that's uh that's where we're at right now i also started putting uh, andesite in around because see how these ones are open i might actually change that out for something else like um i was thinking maybe quartz i like the way the white looks here so i wonder if on the inside we have white rings that might be uh, a cool change so that it's not so samey and then I can do a different design on the floor. I'm a little annoyed that there's no babies at the moment. But uh, let's just take these guys out. And see. I have to be ready to run if the baby comes out. Now, if I hit them, they don't aggro really. Because um, it's a one shot. Um, but if I punch first, then they aggro. And that's actually pretty good because then they all come towards you if, uh, if you don't aggro them they kind of stay on the backside now there's a baby so let's give it a moment let's actually reset it so they're they're low that way the guys will die as they come down we'll lose that aggro And um, we'll put it back here. See, I don't think they're angry anymore. And again, if I lose a couple items, it's not a big deal. I can always walk around and grab them. Um, now, this farm is never going to run full until I get all that other stuff done outside. Um, which I think is going to be the next couple streams. But to be honest, you know, I'm getting sicker than nether. So we're going to see what happens. But um, I'm going to make a couple changes here and see. Um, and what I mean by, um, let, me, let me show you first um, on this one side. So here uh, there's that gap. So let's make a gap here so we can see. Now that might be an issue that I didn't think of that they're um, going down. But it seems like he popped back up. now. Those hoppers are useless underneath those uh, pistons. Now there, we got a guy up. I don't know how he got up there, and now this might wreck my theory because he obviously didn't get pushed underneath. But that's a huge problem. So I'm gonna have to do something, maybe put uh, the trap doors on this level instead of uh, that level, and then he won't be able to get out. If that's the case, then I could leave this like this, which I might do. But yeah, we obviously can't have the babies popping out of there because then when I go to attack, they're going to chase me. <laughs> I don't want that. Anyways, going to tweak this a little bit. And, uh, you know, just like always, thanks for watching and hanging out and supporting the channel and subscribing. And uh, you're all the best. So until next time. Thanks for watching.